Hmm. These feel pretty nice. I like these. Right amount of flex, support. Let me try something else on though. Ooh, yeah, no, way too stiff. That That's not going to work. Oh, wait, no, those are way too soft. Hopefully no one saw that. It, uh, yeah, I really like the look of these, but man, these are really stiff. Maybe not as strong as I thought I was. Y yeah, yeah, th these are definitely them. Hello. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Mountain Vibes. Thank you so much for tuning in today. You know, if this is your first time here and you're new to the channel and you're into ski snowboard tech related videos, you know, consider subscribing. It'd be greatly appreciated. So with today's video, I'm going to be going over essentially how stiff a ski boot is you should be wearing. Uh, simple uh, terms, it's like if you're more of on the beginner side, you're going to want a softer boot. And if you're more of an advanced skier, you're going to want a stiffer boot. Now, to kind of break it down into more different categories, uh, your beginners roughly be around the range of like 50 to 80. Uh, your intermediate skiers, the people who are like, you know, not quite advanced, but they're a little bit more than the, than like a slower beginner. Uh, you're going to be something around like the 90 to 100, maybe even the 110 range. Uh, if you're more of an advanced skier, you're going to be kind of more around like the 120 to 130. And of course, if you are more like more of like your hardcore or like an actual racer, you're going to be looking in that 130 plus range. So if you really want to break it down, that's the way you'd be looking at it. Um, you know, if you got any questions, please feel free to leave down in the comments section below. It'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, if you want to give me a subscribe, uh, that'd be appreciated as well. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm kidding. There's, <laughs> it's a little bit more complicated to that. I wish it was that simple. Uh, it's not too far from the truth, but there are a lot more factors that actually do go into selecting the stiffness of a ski boot. I'm going to start off by saying that there's actually no standard to rating the flex of a ski boot. Uh, you know, from one manufacturer to another, they determine it based on within what's right within their product range. So if you have a 100 from Nordica and a 100 from Solomon, you try them on and you notice that one may flex a little bit harder or easier than the other. Uh, it's just the way that it is. They said there's no standard for it. Uh, so it's something that you kind of have to try. Um, if you determine like kind of like the, the actual range where you should be, you know, try a few different boots and just kind of go from there. So now that that's out of the way, you know that there's no actual standard for it. Uh, there are a lot more factors going in just other than your actual skiing ability. These other factors include, you know, your stature, uh, your athletic ability, and just like your overall physical health. Uh, so let's start off with, uh, you know, your actual stature. You know, for example, like, let's say you are like a smaller individual and you don't have like the size or the mass to actually flex a boot. So you're gonna wanna go for something a little bit on the softer side of things. You, know, you don't necessarily need to go too soft, but just something that's gonna make it easier for you to move the boot. You know, you could be a very advanced skier, but if you don't have the weight to push the boot, you're not gonna need like a quote unquote advanced boot that's rated at 120 because you physically can't move it. You're just gonna end up with a lot of shin bang, you're gonna fatigue a lot more, and you're really not gonna be able to like compress like a lot of the bumps and a lot of the jarringness that comes with it. So on the other end of the spectrum, if you're a little bit more on the heavier side or you have a much larger stature and you're a beginner, you're not gonna want to use something a lot lower on the flex rating. You're gonna essentially be bending that boot in half. So you're gonna want to make sure that you have enough support. You're gonna want to be able to, you know, lean into a boot so you're able to drive your skis. So therefore you're gonna be in something a little bit stiffer just to be able to support your weight. Uh, so keep that in mind, you know, just because you see that a boot is rated for a beginner or an intermediate skier, or you see that a boot is rated for an advanced skier, um, it's kind of a half truth, but you also have to factor in your actual weight or your stature uh, to determine like, you know, how stiff or soft the boot should actually be for you. And then your next category is going to be essentially your overall like athletic ability. You know, if you're someone who isn't the most athletic, uh, you don't necessarily have the strength in your legs to be able to like to push a boot forward. You know, you're going to want to go something a little bit more relaxed. You're in something a little bit more easier to move Therefore, You're not going to be able to have to, you know, strain your muscles all the time just so that you're able to lean over top and move a boot. Uh, whereas if someone who's, uh, you'd say, has been playing sports most of their life or is a relatively more active, they have a lot more strength, 
then they can potentially go for something that's a little bit stiffer. You know, and usually maybe some of these people may want to, you know, excel in skiing a little bit more. So you may buy something that's slightly stiffer than what you would normally be starting out with. But that's something you could potentially grow into. So keep that in mind. Um, and at the same time, be honest with yourself as well. Just be like, oh yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna be a amazing intermediate skier. But if you can't move a boot in the store, you just kind of ignore the sort of like the quote unquote categories of a beginner, intermediate or advanced boot. Now, another big category and this kind of like overlooked is your overall physical health. If you have mobility issues, you may want to go for a boot that's uh, a little bit softer because it makes it easier to you to say to get into and to potentially just to move it a little bit more forward. Um, if you are someone who's, I'd say, who's had ankle injuries in the past, you may want to have a boot that's a little bit stiffer that gives you a little bit more support. Generally, as you go up in the flex rating, the liners do become a little bit stiffer as well. They provide a lot more support, especially around the ankle area. So if you do kind of have like ankle issues or uh, like mobility issues, you kind of have to consider that as well, just to make it a little bit easier for you to actually either get into a boot or to actually support your feet as well. Now, once you factor all of these in, you know, you're really not gonna know how well a boot is gonna fit until you actually try it on. So my suggestion is that you go to a proper ski shop and speak to a professional boot fitter. You know, these individuals have been doing this for let's say years, potentially even decades. So they've seen hundreds, if not thousands of people with different types of feet, different types of skiing ability, potentially different like feet or like uh, mobility issues. Uh, once they look at you and see what you're actually capable of doing, you know, they'll be able to pick three boots like right off of the wall and just be like, okay, cool. These will be the best in their professional opinion for you. You know, you can't just really walk up to a boot wall and say, oh, I want this one because I like the color. You know, it may be the completely wrong boot for you. Whereas these individuals will actually be able to determine which boot will be the best for you. And once you actually try the boot on, you know, if you find that it's moving too easily, especially in the store, uh, you may want to like actually go for something that's a little bit stiffer, but, you know, but not too stiff. Cause if like you're actually, if you can't move the boot forward, then you're not gonna be able to get over top of your skis. You're not gonna be able to drive them. And as well, if it's a bumpy day, your whole body will be taking a lot of that impact, uh, especially to say on your spine, you're not gonna be able to bend your knees forward and really take in that all that jarring impact. So it's a matter of finding like a happy medium. It, and as I mentioned, like, you know, if you have to try the boots on and if by chance, if you don't have the ability to go into a shop and see a professional boot fitter, uh, if you're buying online, make sure that you actually have a really good return policy. In the, you know, what you'd want to do is try them on, flex them for a little bit, and then, you know, don't just like walk around because sometimes that doesn't really help in terms of like how the boot's actually going to react and fit on the ski hill itself. Uh, but make sure that you're able to flex it, you know, with relative ease. You don't want to have to like bend it in half if it's too soft. And at the same time, you don't want to have to use all your strength and all your might to actually move the boot forward because then that's not going to translate into good skiing. You're not going to be able to get forward over top of the skis at all. So generally speaking, a softer boot would be more for like to say your recreational skier or someone of a, who's smaller in stature and your stiffer boots would be for someone who's a little bit on the uh, advanced side of things or who is just like I'd say has a little bit more mass to carry, so to speak. So. Hopefully this actually uh, sheds some light onto how stiff a boot should be for you. It is a lot to take in. And overall, I really do suggest that you actually do go see a professional boot fitter. But if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments section below. I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you are not already. Support your local ski and snowboard shop. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And I'll see you guys in the next video.